Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Flow cab back again with some current events. Stories from this week we don't want y'all to miss. Last April, Nearpod made its first acquisition, buying the edtech company Flocabulary. Flocabulary is a Brooklyn-based media company, best known for creating hip-hop songs and videos centered around education content. One of the re- we were looking for ways to grow the business, and, and you usually have two ways to grow, either organically or just acquiring companies. And um, and we're looking for for companies that were aligned to us in terms of this student engagement problem that we see. Um, and and when we met the the, the founders of Flocabulary and we reviewed their product. Uh, we felt that it was a very good natural fit, both in terms of the product, which was focused on student engagement, but also in terms of the company culture. It's a company that's been on his radar for several different reasons. My 10-year-old, I have three boys. One is 10, the other older. But the 10-year-old was studying for, for, for a test, and it was about reading comprehension. So then I was so excited about what, with the videos. The, have you seen the vocabulary videos? They're just amazing. It's just so engaging and they're like incredible, the creativity. And so I said, let's watch one of these videos of a company that we're thinking. This is way before we did due diligence or put an offer on the table. This is when I first learned seriously about the company. So we looked at the main idea video. This is the main idea. You have a dog singing the main idea, the main idea. The hot new thing is the main idea Supported by the details to keep it all clear The main idea is the reason that we're all here Yeah, come on, let me in Can you believe that the next morning I take him to school and he's singing the song? So that day I said, wow! I mean, this is, wow! If you want something catchy for kids to remember and get engaged with your studies? This is amazing! So. So that basically conquered my heart in terms of the product. Felipe explains how the deal with Flocabulary first came about. No, through, through, through investors and through friends in the industry, we learned that they were looking for funding and, and we thought it was a good opportunity to talk to them. We learned about their willingness to raise some money and then we sort of um, did an approach. Yeah.